All right, we're going to end our um, essay writing process with the conclusion paragraph. And you will remember this from um, the introductory paragraph flipped assignment and from the workshops we did in class. We talked about this inverted triangle or a funnel where you start broadly and then you narrow down to your point just like the point on the triangle. For the conclusion paragraph we are going to follow the exact opposite format. So in a conclusion paragraph you are using a reverse funnel where you're starting narrowly, you're starting with the point and ending broadly. So you are going to restate your thesis um, in a new way, answer the so what, and this is kind of like the bridge between your thesis statement and this lingering thought or kicker and you're going to end broadly um, so that you leave your reader with something to think about. The first part is restating your thesis. So you want to do this in a new fresh way and you are not just going to copy and paste the exact same words that you have in your introductory paragraph. A good way to do this is by using the format when one considers blank and blank it's clear that blah 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 whatever your point is. So you have your two body paragraphs or three body paragraphs or however many supporting claims you have. And you simply say, when one considers this supporting claim and this supporting claim, it's clear that whatever I said in my thesis is true. Next, you are going to answer the question, so what? So why does what you are saying matter to your reader? Why does this matter in the present day? Um, forget whatever your narrow focus is on your topic or if you're writing a literary analysis or if you're writing an argumentative essay, your issue, and then explain the bigger reason why your reader should care about this. I like to use the acronym ESAGAC, which stands for Why Should I Give a Crap? Why should your reader care at all about what you are saying? And lastly, you want one sentence at the end that leaves the reader with something juicy to think about. Um, use a quote sparingly, or it can just be an idea that applies to many different people, um, applies to a wide range of readers. So just like your introductory paragraph, needs to begin broadly and appeal to a wide range of readers. You want to end your essay applying to a wide range of readers. So your conclusion paragraph should be short and sweet. You're not introducing any new information. You've already spent your entire essay explaining your ideas. You don't want to lag on and on and on and leave your reader frustrated that you can't just wrap it up. So you want your restated thesis to be one sentence long. Your answer to the so what question or isagak is one or two sentences. And then your kicker or lingering thought is one sentence for a total of three to four sentences. So here is an example. The example I gave you in the body paragraphs flipped assignment was one person has a small chance of making a huge difference, but a group of people can do so much more. So if I'm restating my thesis, I'm going to use the sentence frame that I gave you. When one considers that, here are my two supporting claims, each individual's contribution benefits the whole. That's one body paragraph. And my second one is the impact on society a group can make. It is clear that when people work together, they can make a big difference. So I am restating my thesis statement in a new exciting way instead of just copying and pasting. Here's my answer to so what. In today's society, so this applies now, people are taught to do what is best for themselves only. Imagine the issues that could be resolved in the world if instead people work together to find solutions. And then the kicker or lingering thought is just as a colony requires every ant to build the mound, society relies on every member working as one in order to maintain a balanced and well-functioning world for all. So that's just like a juicy little note to end on. I'm using the simile with the ant colony that we keep using in our workshops and leave the reader with something to think about. Yes, everybody needs to work together to benefit society. 
One more time, should you include questions in your conclusion paragraph? Again, absolutely not. There should not be any questions anywhere in your paper that is lazy and boring. I want you to be answering questions, not asking them. That's it. This video is short and sweet, just like your conclusion paragraph should be.